Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with a center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this chord AC is uh, 4 and this uh, chord BC is uh, 8 uh, units. And now our task is to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are dealing with this uh, quarter circle. And now in this uh, next diagram, this is our quarter circle within this uh, full uh, circle. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that this whole angle is uh, 360 degrees. And this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle is going to be 270 degrees. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. According to the theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. So therefore, in this uh, diagram uh, for this uh, subtended uh, arc, this is our angle uh, at the center and uh, this is the angle uh, at the circumference. So therefore the angle at the circumference is going to be half of uh, this uh, angle at the center. This is 270 degrees. So the half of that is going to be 135 degrees. So therefore our this angle uh, turns out to be 135 degrees. This angle ACB. So therefore our this uh, angle ACB in this uh, quarter circle is also going to be 135 degrees. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, these points A and uh, B. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, ACB. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ACB. And now let's recall the law of uh, cosines for this triangle uh, ABC, where for this vertex A, alpha is our angle, for vertex B, beta is our angle and for vertex C our angle A is uh, gamma and the side that is opposite to this vertex C is going to be lowercase uh, c. Side uh, opposite to this vertex A is going to be lowercase a and the side opposite to this vertex uh, B is going to be lowercase uh, b. So therefore for our this uh, triangle ACB for this uh, given angle we are going to use this uh, law of cosines c square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine of gamma. So for in our case uh, this angle is gamma, this side is uh, lowercase c, this side is lowercase uh, a and this side is uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So c square equals to a in our case is uh, 8. So this is going to become uh, 8 square plus uh, b in our case is uh, 4 uh, whole uh, square minus uh, 2 times uh, 8 times 4 cosine of uh, 135 degrees. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, side length uh, c. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore c square equal to 64 plus 16 minus 64 cosine of 135 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms. So therefore we're going to have a C square equal to 80 minus 64 times a cosine of 135 degrees. And now we know that cosine of 135 degrees uh, equals to negative uh, square root of 2 divided by 2. So therefore this equation is going to become c square equal to 80 minus uh, 64 times uh, negative uh, square root of 2 divided by 2. And here in this next step uh, 2 goes into 64 uh, 32 times and negative and negative is going to give us positive when we multiply them. So therefore we got uh, c square equal to 80 plus uh, 32 times uh, 
square root of 2. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 1. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB and this uh, AO are the radii of this uh, quarter circle. Let me go ahead and represent this uh, radius uh, by lowercase r. Then this is going to be lowercase uh, r as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle uh, AOB. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the value of this uh, radius r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. I'm going to call this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula a in our case r. So this is going to become r square plus uh, r square equal to c square in our case is uh, this uh, whole uh, thing. So I'm going to write down uh, 80 plus uh, 32 times uh, square root of uh, 2. So let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. Uh, r square plus r square is going to give us 2r square equals to 80 plus uh, 32 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And now let's go ahead and divide by 2 across the board. We're going to divide each and every term by 2. So therefore we got uh, r square equals to 40 plus uh, 16 uh, times square root of 2. Now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore r turns out to be equal to square root of 40 plus 16 times square root of 2. And if we simplify the right hand side our radius r is going to be approximately equal to 7.91 units. So therefore the radius of this quarter circle turns out to be approximately equal to 7.91 units. So thus the radius of this quarter circle turns out to be approximately equal to 7.91 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.